Fubachslan asakto cooking unagi a cooking kaolangi a cooking. So that was an Aleut. And what I said was, my name is Tom Weathers, I'm Aleut, and I'm an enrolled member of the Kaolangan tribe of Unalaska. Historically, the United States government tried to assimilate natives, and so they would remove them from their homes, from the reservations, and they'd put them in boarding schools. And they'd force them to speak English, and they'd force them to learn Western culture. And so the assimilation, through the assimilation, a lot of the children and the generations lost their culture and heritage and history. get more connected on the internet and television and Wi-Fi and all of that they're more indoctrinated into Western culture and so they're losing their heritage and history just by being so inundated with Western influences and then you couple that with a lot of the elders are dying off uh, they're getting older they're not passing down the language as much to the younger generations dances, the history. So what we do, uh, and some of the tribes in Alaska have been doing this, is we have a culture camp. There's, I think, 13 different Aleut tribes, and so each one has its own culture camp on their island, the Aleutian Islands. And you'll have elders come, and they'll teach the history, the dance, the language, the culture, the foods, the plants, the art, and try to educate the younger generations to keep the culture alive. It's important to preserve tradition and culture because it's what makes Aleut unique, or Norwegians unique, or South Africans unique. It's your own history and your own foods and your own stories and your own songs. And so, my tribe has been living on the same island. My family's been living on the same island for 9,000 years. And so through that time, we've developed our own culture and our own rituals and our own songs. And I think it's important to keep those going for the next generations to come.